Hi Pisces, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your Taroscope for November 2020. And I pulled a couple cards from the animal spirits from the wild unknown. And the first two cards that came out were the Phoenix and the golden egg. That actually sounds like a book, doesn't it? The Phoenix and the golden egg. I love it. Both of these are super powerful. And I wanted to talk about them before I laid some cards out. <clears throat> So the golden egg is relating to the Anahata, the heart chakra. And where did you go, golden egg? Right, it translates to the unstruck sound in the heart space and the heart chakra. And the Anahata is the home of the self or the soul. It's the identity space. So we've got that. Another thing that struck me from the golden egg was it requires becoming intimate with our very essence. I absolutely love that. And then it being paired with the Phoenix was super powerful too, Pisces. So the phoenix is the transformation of our past. The phoenix is with us when we realize we've been suffering too long and something must change. We take a stand and we decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and its long list of fears and aversions. And that at that very moment, when the realization comes in, the spark of the phoenix is lit. I absolutely love that. And the phoenix card resonates with the root chakra, the muladhara. The ascent of the phoenix begins here, and as the entanglement of karmas is slowly burned, it rises from ash toward the navel center. And again and again, it makes this journey from the first to the third chakra, purifying our essence, freeing us from the past. I thought those were both really powerful cards and powerful cards to come together. Just the rising of the phoenix burning the karma from the past and moving into the heart space, the unstruck sound. So I wanted to start there today. And now I want to go ahead and lay some tarot out. And this is for Pisces. So anyone with sun, moon, rising or Venus in Pisces in their chart or any cross watchers for Pisces, you are welcome here. We are going to look at the energy of Pisces for November, 2020. We're calling in our angels and guides, the highest vibrations of love and light because we don't want to talk to anybody else. And here we go, Pisces. What kind of energy is here for you? November 2020. Okay. What I'm hearing is um, November is going to be about, uh, I'm hearing a turnaround and turning over, turning over a new leaf, turn around. I'm also hearing kind of like an upheaval. It's almost like digging stuff up to ground things back in. That's what it looks like. Okay, the first thing that I'm noticing is the big picture. And the big picture is the hermit reversed. So this is some kind of isolation that is going on Pisces. And the next thing I'm noticing is your advice and your advice is the page of pentacles reversed. So this is the upheaval I was talking about or the turning over or the digging up of foundation. So there's some kind of digging up of foundation. This doesn't always feel comfortable or solid and safe. But what this feels like is it's the digging up of some things in order to create new safety and new solidity. Okay, right. 
And we've got the seven of pentacles reversed here and you're happening now and into the near future. And this is about no longer waiting, waiting for what? Wow, waiting for your highest and your greatest purpose. No longer waiting to step into the energy of your highest and your greatest potential. Okay, that requires apparently some turning over of old soil this month in November, Pisces. And release the idea that you are just, you know, this is the nine of wands reversed. I want to say release the idea that you are um, weak or that you are being drained. You are actually very much in your power while you're doing this. And sometimes it doesn't feel like that when you're upheaving things, when you're moving your foundation around, but somehow you're in your power with this. Okay, so I am seeing your higher self. Your higher self is saying, this is the king of wands, but it's reversed. And your higher self is saying there is, first of all, what's coming in is that you're, you can be drained because there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now. There's a lot of uh, energy that's being dispersed. And also though, I feel like this might actually represent a person who is draining you or a person who requires a lot of attention and a lot of energy. So just be aware of that. Your angels and guides, however, are saying, this is my spot card, but it's reversed. So it's like, the, this is not the time to relax into something. This is not the time to meditate. You know, that golden egg card is talking about meditation and talking about going into your heart space, that unstruck sound and finding out about it. That is involving meditation, involving what is in your heart. What's the truth of your heart? But there's some action-oriented stuff going on in November, Pisces, that's saying, okay, yeah, you're going to have to do that, but this isn't the time for a meditation and going into the spa. It's time to be action-oriented. There's a lot of movement here. There's a lot of upheaval here, digging things up to put things in place or to organize them. The heart of the situation. Okay, wow. All right, the heart of the situation, it's the high priestess reversed and it's the knight of pentacles reversed. So it's like, I love that her hand is even up like this. She's reversed. So instead of keeping secrets, she's more like, it's time to speak my truth. So you very well could have been getting in touch with this heart center. You know your truth now and now you're, time, you're speaking on it. You're not just speaking on it. Sometimes speaking our truth isn't about just talking to someone or talking to yourself about it. It's about um, moving into action around what your truth is. And that's very much Pisces, what it looks like you're doing this month. Speaking on something, you're like, hold up, wait a minute. Talk to the hand. Hold up, wait a minute. Things have to change. It's like you're redirecting the river. You're moving the river. It's a really powerful month for you, Pisces. Okay, in the past, Let's look at the past, present, and the future. In the past, we've got the Empress and she's reversed. It's like, I haven't been standing in my truth. I'm not sure if I deserve what it is that I'm asking for, or deserve what it is that I'm wanting, or I'm not allowing myself to recognize what it is that I want. That's in the past. In the present, there's some kind of dislodging of a commitment for answering your dreams. And this would be what's in your heart perhaps dislodging commitment, some kind of past commitment in order to actively seek out those wishes for the future. Okay, before I get to the trajectory, let's take a look at, first of all, where you're coming from. This again is in the past, the eight of cups and it's reversed. So it's like in the past, I'm not sure if I've been worthy of this. And in the past, I haven't been emotionally ready to move forward and move on. And now in present time, this is all about action this month. So queen of pentacles is in your trajectory and she's reversed. It's like, 
you got to get ungrounded to get grounded again, Pisces. And the thing that I am resistant to, which is really interesting because this is the rite of passage. It's the six of swords, but it's reversed. I'm re Oh, I get it. Okay. I'm resistant to not taking this rite of passage. I'm resistant to not going on this journey, not making this trip, not making this change. So ultimately what this is, Pisces, is your, your momentum is moving toward the rite of passage. This is a huge step forward, a huge change. I'm not seeing the tower here, but this is a huge change. And the tower sometimes is a surprise. I don't think this is a surprise. I feel like this is something that's that you've been that you've been thinking about in your heart and you've been really doing some inside work on that root chakra on healing karma and on getting ready to fly forward Pisces this is a huge month for you okay let's see I want to pull from Lenormand here and I want to look at the trajectory. Wow. And you have a medal. You're being honored for your choices to move forward. You're being honored. I love that, Pisces. It's taken a long time. You've done a lot of work and you're being honored by your guides, by your higher self, by your angels, right? And this has been no, no little task. They're saying that this is a mountain. Mountains are to be climbed. They're to be, you know, there are challenges that are to be overcome. And that's exactly what you're being commemorated for, Pisces. Let me see what's happening now and into the near future. You are not stopping and you're going straight for your star, your highest and your greatest potential. Wow. <laughs> This is the um, Lenormand, the maybe Lenormand. So there are extra cards in here. But here is this Dionysus dude that is really is celebrating abundance. Really, like almost even indulging in overabundance. But that's like your highest and your greatest achievement, greatest potential, greatest purpose. It's like, there's, it's just absolutely overflowing. I am thrilled with this reading for you, Pisces, this month. I'm looking forward to your mid-month love readings. Have a wonderful rest of your November, and I will talk to you soon, Pisces.